Um, you probably saw they got cut out. I'm going to show you. I already introduced the idea of behind those kind of boxing style strikes. Um, let me find a better platform here. Um, I'll show you. Again, the boxing strikes you got to remember so you understand why you would do the headbutts in the same fashion. So you have jab, cross, hook, you have uppercut or escamelio, backhand or backhand or spinning backhand, okay? This is um, a big part of like Reese or Testa. Um, other guys who've done a more Afrocentric martial arts all agree that there's a lot of headbutting and a lot of African fighting. Well, it did translate into Capoeira too. So let me talk about, so you got the, just this pecking headbutt. You can also do it from the side, but you want to hit here, not here, but here. You can hurt yourself here, but here's a little thicker. Here's a little thicker, okay? Um, so you got here, here. Um, you can come under and really just drive your whole body. So you're doing that with the first ones. But this one, you drive your whole body. You can grab his coat and pull it over your shoulders, slam him. That's a, that's a trap. It's an trap. <clears throat> oh yeah, you're firing it in. This move will knock the guy off his feet. You just come in and hit him right in the solar plexus there. Here's a great spot. Be careful of your neck. Let me get onto that in a second. So the others, you're going to step here and you're going to hit him. It's like a takeoff of poly. Step here and you hit him. You almost step kind of offline, but you come here and your spine is a little bit arcing, but you want to hit him about on the parietal bones, they're the thicker bones, and the frontal bones are the thicker bones. Now the other one, I'm going to need you to see my feet for it, because even that kind of back headbutt, or it's like a, a snappy headbutt, darn it, so I need you to see my feet. So. A lot of times we like foot trap, so you see this foot come right here. I got behind your foot so you can't get away. And then I hit you right about here. Boom. There's that one. Just boom. And I can catch you off guard. I grab your leg. Boom. And you go right over. The last one is just me spinning around. I missed. And I just fall into that headbutt. A lot of times the fight is chaotic, so you swing pressure on it. Here, boom. You might get a hold of his hand in the process and pull him into it. Now I caution against headbutts a little bit because the big controversy of traumatic brain injury and uh, concussions, that's just one of them. That's a big one of them. It'll be fucked up for life, but what you don't know is that sometimes you grind your teeth in a fight because you're tensing. Give yourself a little bit of TMJ, it's real minor, very rare. But the other, and I know this from experience, training this and doing it a lot, whiplash and jarring in the neck. You hit, it compresses the spine. Your neck is not really a shock absorber. I like headbutts, I've won fights with them. But I've suffered. I mean, whiplash, my jaw and my neck get tight after a while. I almost don't advise, um, Doing a headbutt unless you have the opportunity. If you have the opportunity, hit him with it. Right here. Be careful not to get the teeth in your um, head. Chin, under the chin. Um, solar plexus, liver. Oh yeah, liver shots work well. And if you 